¿Cómo estás, mi amigos? I'm just in. And today is June 2nd. Um, I'm happy to announce that I have finally finished editing the March section of the Other oh, Remains tour vlog. I still have to do April and May. So I started vlogging for the tour on March 9th. So I've finished from March 9th to March 31st. Um, so far it's about two hours long. I have a feeling that when I finish April and May, it's gonna be somewhere between, I think, six and seven hours long. I'm gonna try to trim it down a little bit more, but yeah, it's just gonna be a long one. I'm gonna upload it as one gigantic video, so no, I won't be splitting it, so you gotta wait until I'm completely finished. Today, we are going to be doing something fun. As you guys know, um, Robax died, and it's real, I don't live like in the city, I live like in the suburbs, so if I wanna go anywhere it's a walk so we're gonna fix my bike this lovely package came in the mail today it should be two tire tubes and i think the little plastic thing to remove the tube so that's awesome the dark tunnel i'm just kidding i figured it's been a while and I thought maybe you'd fall for it. Here is my bike. Tires are flat. Two years ago, I was biking to my friend's house and I hit a curb because uh, I just thought I'd be fine. And I busted both tires. I'm pretty sure the tubes just exploded. The tires should be fine. So we're going to try to replace them. That's why it's going to be fun. I've never done this before. It's going to be a learning experience for both of us. I, I, th th I know there's like, yeah, this. I need to yeah, grab one of these. Ah, God, I hate taking these out. That's too big. I thought I got it. I think that's the right size. What is that? Five eighths? Let's do it. Uh, I don't even, I don't even know what this is. I feel like I can probably just twist it off with my hand or something. I feel like I'm probably gonna need this too. Cool. Okay, so I still don't have my letter opener, so this will work just fine. I don't, actually, I don't even think I need this. <laughs> Look at that. Bob's right open. Do I have two of these? Nice. These are the tubes. Hopefully they fit. I measured it. It's supposed to be a 26. Let's take off this one first because it seems the easiest. Oh yeah, that's mad easy. This will pop right off. Oh, let's not lose that. That's a spring. Where did it go? So like this. Okay. Oh, I see. They're not connected. I think I have to disconnect the chain. Ah, oh, I should probably take off this hoodie. Yeah, cool. That was way easier than I thought it would be. Let's move this out of the way. The guy in the video basically had this and then stuck this thing in here. Kind of used it to prop it open like this. And then he grabbed a second one and kind of did this. And just slid it down like this. Oh man, I mean, this is why they call it a profession, right? That guy was a pro at it. I think I just saw the spot where, all right, there we go. That's what he did in the video. I think he said you only have to get off one side. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah. Interesting. The tube is full of air. I was not expecting that at all. Let's pop off the second one and see what happens. So I just realized that uh, these, these things have little clips to the spokes to keep it in place, so. That would have been really helpful if I knew that earlier. So the second tire was way more difficult to get off. But for the most part, I got it. This one, the tube is definitely flat. Let's fill it up and see what happened. I might've just hit it so hard that I popped one of them, but not the other one. But I'm guessing the tires themselves like slid off the rim or whatever and weren't like fully aligned. Oh, I probably have all over my face now. Somewhere this tube definitely has a hole. I also noticed it looks different than uh, this one. I think I got the wrong size. Yeah, this is, uh, I don't think this is gonna work. Which is weird because I specifically looked up this one. 
Yes, <laughs> this, this doesn't look great at all. Then again, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, I don't know, this, this just feels weird. Let's mess with this one for a second and see what happens. So this one feels even weirder. This is the original one and it like doesn't fit all the way, but it's not as thick as this one. I really don't know. Um, I'm gonna put this one back on, see if I can fill it up, see if I can deflate this one, put it on. Why does that sound like a violin? I don't know. Okay, so this is the one with the original tube on it. I got it on, I got it balanced or like seated or whatever it's called. Like I said, this is the one with the original tube, not the new tube, but it's also the one uh, with the tube that wasn't popped. So, I don't wanna pop it or anything like that, but this feels pretty solid. Uh, it's holding, everything seems normal. Nothing feels weird. So I'm gonna put this back on the bike. So that's good to know. Just the back tire was messed up. So that should be good. The reason I wanted to do it with the good one first is because now I know how to do it. It took me a little bit. This one, I don't think it's gonna work. I think the tube is too big. I'm gonna try it anyway because I'm crazy like that, but <laughs> all I had to do was make sure that none of this was like sticking out over the lip and then do one side and then do the other side. Gotcha. That was way harder than it needed to be. So I seem to be stuck here. No matter what angle of attack I do, I, there's always one piece that I can't get over the lip. It's because the tube is too big. It's too thick. Like you can see the difference. Old tube, new tube. I don't know, like once I get it over, I'm pretty sure I could just like inflate the tube and even though it's too big, it'll work, but I can't get it over. After some very frustrated persuasion, I managed to get the tube seated on the tire. However, it does look super uneven. I'm gonna uh, inflate this very slowly and we're gonna see if it explodes or if it's fine. So far, so good. All right, well, let's put this back on the bike and take it for a spin. I remember when I was a kid and I'd be like riding my bike with my little cousins, you know, little friends on the street and stuff like that. And my chain would fall off and I wouldn't know what to do. I would get so upset and I'd have to walk it home and bring it to my grandpa. Cause like, I didn't know how to fix stuff. I was never like a, like a fix it type of guy. So this is so cool to me that I'm like 31 years old now. No way, did I get it on the right chain too? Cool. Ugh. Let's take her for a spin. I don't know where I want to go. Brakes seem to work nice. It rides pretty smooth. All right, let's try shifting some gears. Uh oh, oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted. There, yeah, there we go. Oh, this thing is quick. Dude, yeah, this thing's riding great. I got some transportation. All right. This back tire didn't lose any wheel or any air. Front one feels pretty good. I think I fixed it. It wasn't easy, but we did it. It took like, I don't know, two hours or something like that. Don't be a retard.